Well, what are your thoughts on that one, please? Um, probably, I'm not. It wasn't a fair result, in my opinion. But you know, we've had probably you know a lot of the play, 36 crosses into the box. I think we had, uh, and I think we only had like six first contacts. So listen, I think we had a few chances toward the end. Obviously, we put you know we've made a few changes towards the end and tried to get the momentum back, but. Obviously, with the, the the goal that really just sort of come out of nothing, um, then it just gives them something to hang on to. Um, they've had, and then f you know, fair play to them. They've um, they've dug in deep. I think near enough, everyone has gone gone down with cramp, and you know they've put their their bodies on the line. And you know, well done, because um, that's what it takes to win football matches sometimes. So, um, despite the crosses going into their box, they were there to go and head it. Um, that's what that's what we want our centre backs to do, you know. Um, really disappointed with the goal because of the the nature of it, with a you know just a, a simple flick, and then and then he's clean through, and then he's obviously then beat um, Adam at the near post, and then obviously we're trying to just get back in the game. But when you got something to hang on for, they uh, they 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 wanted to they did that better than us, and probably showed a bit more fight than us. I was going to say, do you have to give? We have to obviously give credit to to that young West Ham side that have yeah. come here because they moved the ball well, they took their chance well, probably one of their only ones in the game, but and then they defended well as well as a young group. Yeah, as, a, as we said it before in the in the presentation that um, they get rotations in midfield, they, they move the ball quickly um, and then when you add that they're fearless to it, as in they're young, you know, they, they're fit, they want to they wanna go and win a header, they want to go and run, they want to they want to put um, defenders under pressure when they're clearing it. They want to they want to run in behind, um, and then when it's even when it's not, they don't get it. They don't receive it. There's no disappointments. They they make another movement to go and receive whatever it's short. Um, they listen. That that's what we expected. Um, we didn't. We never leave a stone unturned. So it's you know I'm, I'm, I wasn't surprised by him, um, and it was just about. Um, at the moment, just trying to keep the squad together. That you know, we're trying to rest bodies as well. We're trying to, you know, we, we've got probably the bare eight, you know, seventeen, eighteen at the moment. We've got enough in the injury room as it is. So we, you know, we're, we're kind of we're caught a rock in a hard place at the moment. We're trying to give players games, minutes, and then we're still testing some of the the ones have had to do, you know, pretty relentless. Um, league, you know, and cup sort of schedule in the first sort of um, six weeks, you know, two months of the season. This, this, it's always going to be tough. But um, listen, I, I can only say well done to West Ham, and then um, obviously we just got to try and put it to bed, and then we got a huge game to look forward to now at the weekend, which is, which is in, in my opinion far more important. I was going to say you made a number of changes tonight. Did those that come in do enough? For you give you a, enough of a headache going into this weekend? Um, I'd have to look back on it at the moment because at the moment I feel it's a it's a team effort that I, I look at. I um, I would I'd have to look back on it and sort of uh, get my evaluation on it probably in the morning. But um, when you look at you got you know, Liam Bennett's been I thought he was outstanding again today. Um, there was a, there was I thought second half there was some really good performances that you know you look at Knowles he always looks threatening. Um, DJ always looks like he's going to get a goal. Taylor started putting a few more crosses in. Um, it's it's just don't seem to be running for us at the moment. Whether that's just that um, that little bit of lady luck, or is it just we're not quite you know getting things timed right just yet? And it's you know it's something up. You know we always do here. We'll always evaluate it and um, reflect on it, and then obviously try and learn from it. So that's that's all we can do. But um, you know we we've got. We've got to lick our wounds, I suppose, and then just try and now just focus on on Bradford City away. A lot of fixture congestion at the moment. Does that really affect how you prepare for these types of games, or is it all about trying to get as much information across in such a short space of time? Because I can imagine that is really yeah. going to affect how you do prepare for games. Yeah, we do. You know, sometimes it's you know we we do walkthroughs. It's on the training pitch. You can you know. Push them too long on there because, like I said before, we got the injury, you know, not crisis, but we know we know the the long term injuries that we got. We don't want to add to that, so it's a it's a fine balance to 
keeping them, you know, highly tuned enough to be able to, you know, keep going as in a Saturday, Tuesday, um, Saturday, you know, if it's a that's a week for us. Um, we have a cup game and then two league fixtures either side of it, which is, you know, we've had the Carabao Cup as well, which has been tough games, you know, Swindon and, and Charlton added to that. You know, we've not really been able to rest, you know, that many, obviously, because I've said we've got such a, a, a thin squad at the moment that we're having to push a few harder than we probably wanted to. But the, the time we get with them as in to, to work on stuff it is a, it's a short turnaround, but it's no different for for every other club in, in the football league and you know we just gotta we just gotta get on with it and um yeah we just like I said we just gotta probably lick our wounds again today. Um it was a, you know we've had another another kick but you know that's that's sometimes when we start learning about people and you know when we're in it's that bit of adversity we wanna we wanna learn about and we've got a, you know a new group and yeah we just gotta try and now just focus on Saturday and uh you know expect to at 16,000 people coming at you on Saturday so you know we, we need to stand up to that now and that thinness of the squad on our final note in the final couple of days of the transfer window does tonight again probably reiterate the fact that you guys want to strengthen even further yeah we look, well, I think you know, every manager in the, in the in the country probably always wants to strengthen this it's about getting the right players in that fit within the you know the budget and you know obviously where, where we've got you know, five sort of long termers that um, you know that would hurt really any squad. So it's you know the the club have had to take that into consideration, and you know they're, they're working really hard behind the scenes to to ensure that we can you know we can get through you know to the next window and get the players back, and you know just trying to take the club forward. Really, is we're get, we're going to get setbacks. We know that because um, we've got a new group, but um, you know we've got to start. We've got to start finding a way of putting the ball in the back of the net without, you know, probably Jono that is going to be, you know, obviously he's, he's the one who's scored the most goals for us so far and we got to try and start helping him do that and then, you know, getting that, that mentality back of keeping clean sheets again, which is, which is key for anybody really, let alone, you know, when a new signings come in or not.